for clicking on this video. Hope you're having an awesome day. Thanks for taking some time every day to hang out with me. Today's video, we have the box by Fashionsta unboxing for August 2020. I'll leave my Fashionsta playlist to watch previous unboxings. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and give this video a like. Let's get unboxing. The box by Fashionsta is $25 a month and each box retails for over $100. We usually get about like five to seven full size items in each box. This is what the inside of the box looks like. I really hate this confetti stuff because it just makes a mess and I find it quite wasteful. But I suppose it does help keeping all of the products together. That way nothing breaks in transit, but look at this. The first item in this box is by Bella Perrier. This is the Color Correcting Concealer Palette and it retails for $50. First of all, I'm sitting over here thinking, Bella Perrier is that expensive? You're telling me that this color correcting palette is $50. And this is what the inside of the palette looks like. Color correcting is something I just could never get into, but I'm quite interested tree. We have seashell concealer, caramel concealer, green concealer, red concealer, lavender concealer, and peach concealer. So for seashell concealer can be used for fair and medium skin tones to cover any blue violet imperfections such as dark under eye circles or bruising. Apply with a concealer brush to the desired area and blend with a clean finger or makeup sponge. Be sure to lightly apply foundation on top to blend seamlessly with the rest of the face. I normally do foundation and then concealer, so maybe with color correcting, it's the reverse. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not the color corrector expert, but then again, I already kind of do skip concealer in my everyday makeup routine. Peach concealer can be used for dark and deep skin tones to cover any blue violet imperfections, such as dark circles or bruising. It's applied the same exact way as seashell. So for reference, the top one is seashell, and then this bottom one is peach. Red concealer over here can be used for any skin tone to cover blue-green imperfections, such as severe under eye circles or bruising. So I do have a little bit of discoloration. It's not as bad as it used to be, but still it's something that I can be self-conscious about. And then it's applied the same exact way as you would with seashell or peach concealer. Green concealer over here can be used for any skin tone to cover redness, such as acne blemishes, and rosacea and then you apply it the same exact way as well. I do get a lot of redness especially in my cheek area so that's something I've been thinking about trying just to see if it helps cancel out but I think overall foundation does a pretty good job by itself and then a lavender concealer right here can be used for any skin tone to cover yellow or brown imperfections such as sallowness or hyperpigmentation then again apply the same exact way as all the other shades and then lastly we have caramel right here and caramel can be used for fair and medium skin tones to contour or by dark and deep skin tones to cover minor imperfections I'm gonna keep this handy little pamphlet to reference next time I decide to give this a shot. Definitely the green and the red concealer are something that I'm interested in trying. $50, I do think that is a little bit expensive. I know for me, I would not go out of my way to spend $50 on a color correcting palette like this. So it is something nice to receive in a box like this. Next by Amore Us USA, this is the Shine Bright eyeshadow palette that retails for $9. This is what the palette looks like. Right off the bat, I'm looking at this palette. I'm definitely drawn more towards these bright shimmer shades over here and then we have six mattes I don't think I've ever tried this brand before so let's do some swatches to get a feel of the formula and the sabotaging thumb is excited to be part of the swatch party fair sincere natural hope brilliant So based off the first row, everything felt pretty soft to the touch and there is pigment all the way through on the first row of swatches. Sweet, Charm, Inspire, Wild, Brave. I think so far out of all the swatches, I am very drawn towards Wild and Brave. Stellar, Gilded Heart, Kind, Wonder, Mindful. And this is the entire palette swatched. Overall, I think for $9, this isn't that bad of a palette. I definitely think this palette is super heavy on the shimmers, which I don't necessarily mind. I just wish there was maybe a little bit more matte colorful shades than just like these very neutral 
esque shades right here to help balance out with some of these really bright pops of color. But this could be a really good beginner palette if you are wanting to experiment with some neutral looks with pops of color. I can definitely see myself just depotting the shimmers and chucking out the mattes and then just pulling from other palettes to get use out of these shimmers. But that doesn't take anything away from how the mattes swatch. I think they look pretty good on the swatch. I hope that both the mattes and the shimmers translate well when I do apply them on my eyes with the brush and of course with primer and this is on my bare arm. Well it has decent staying power because it doesn't necessarily want to completely go away with the makeup wipe. Next by Klee Cosmetics, we have the Melting Lip Powder and it retails for $20. The shade that we got is Hot Cocoa. Oh wow, this is very interesting. I have never used powder before. Oh, I just spilled some. Oh no, this is a freaking mess over here. Interesting, it's powder, but it goes to like a cream. What? is the sorcery. Probably gonna get powder all over my vanity as you can see, but that's what it looks like swatched. This is some messy application, but I do like the shade and it is drying down quite matte, but I have a pile of powder right in front of me right here that I just gotta get rid of. I can't be wearing a cute top applying something like this. It's just gonna go all over the place, but I don't think the staying powder is gonna be that well because like one swipe and it was gone. I don't know how I feel about this. It is messy, so beware. Next by the Dirty Lamb, this is the Ultra Day Serum and it retails for $44. And this stuff is covered in like little black dust particles from the confetti. Just gotta clean this off. This box is just messy for the month of August. That is the theme. It says brighten up your day and skin with a powerful blend of fast absorbing naturally derived oils. Rice bran oil will keep your skin hydrated throughout the day. Natural, vegan, and cruelty free. Now that we are transitioning to fall and that the weather is cooling down a bit, this is something I'm definitely gonna need to incorporate in my morning skincare routine because with the colder weather, my face does tend to really struggle of keeping hydration and moisture to it. I really like this dropper bottle component. I'm just gonna do that one drop and one drop alone covers my whole hand. It's not too overwhelming and it says non-greasy formula with a smooth finish. Yeah, it doesn't leave that greasy residue, which is really nice. I hope it does work out really nice with my moisturizers because that's gonna go on top of the serum. But man, my hand does feel super smooth. I really enjoy Dirty Lamb. I get a lot of their products in my Bella skincare box. I can't stop touching my hand because I'm obsessed how it feels right now. Next by Earth Harbor, we have the Mermaid Milk Nutrient Glow Moisturizer and it retails for $42. Looks like a little part of it exploded in the box, but this is what it looks like. It's kind of nice to get a moisturizer and a serum in the same box. So this will be a good test to see how this feels on top of that serum. I also picked up their mask that was featured in a boxy pop-up. So I'm definitely excited to see how this brand is going to treat me. Just trying to clean that jar off. Just gonna scoop some off of the lid. Ooh, that is ultra lightweight. A little goes a long way. Oh man, this hand is super smooth. It is a purely plant-derived replenishing moisturizer that hydrates and balances skin while giving you a mermaid glow. This lightweight, which that is something I did notice prior to reading this, creamy formula is packed with superfoods, spirulina and matcha. She is non-greasy, never oily, nor sticky, and absorbs quickly, which I can confirm all of those. Wear her under makeup or alone to let skin breathe. No synthetics, vegan, and cruelty-free. This combination of the moisturizer and the serum I am really liking so far, and that's without cleansing my face prior to application. And then the last item we have by Catrice Cosmetics, this is the Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Finishing Spray that retails for $8. This has been a product I've been wanting to try. I have heard so so many good things about it. I enjoy Catrice. I do have a handful of their products in my collection, but I never got around to testing their setting sprays.
First of all, it smells really good. I really like how it dispenses out of the nozzle. It doesn't have the best radiance. The spray radiance is very small, so I felt like I had to do a lot of spritz just to get my whole face covered, but it's nice and misty, so I didn't feel like I was wasting a lot of product with the multiple sprays. And I am seeing a more dewy look. Overall, I think this box was a hit for August. We got two high-end skincare items, and so far it has been a great combination. I'm definitely interested on giving the color correcting palette a chance. One, it's something I wouldn't go out of my way, and then two, I would not pay that price for it, but it is nice to receive in this box. The eyeshadow palette was something that I really liked how it looks swatched. I probably just have to pair it with some other palettes to get most use out of it. I really enjoyed the setting spray. I can still smell the scent after spraying, so I just hope that it doesn't trigger a headache down the line. And then like the lip powder, it's very interesting, super messy, but I liked how it swatched. It was a really cool powder to cream application. I just hope it doesn't get decluttered so quickly just because of how messy it is. I would love to know if you guys get the box by fashion stuff. What did you guys think of this month's box? Did you guys get the same exact products as me or was there a slight variation? Let me know if you have any tips and tricks on the color correcting palette because that is something very new to me. Did you get the same exact shade in the lip powder? Is yours just as messy as mine or any tips on tricks on that as well? And are you guys looking forward to September's box? Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And if you don't, I appreciate your view anyways, and I'll see you in the next video.